All right, so uh, that will be Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and as well rising a weekly tarot reading for uh, July 20th to 26th, 2020. And first thing we're going to check out for us, guys, because those who are first time in my channel, I am also Scorpio. So first thing that we're going to check out, uh, that will be uh, our career. And uh, let me shuffle the cards and see uh, what we can expect to happen throughout the upcoming uh, throughout the upcoming week. So the first one we have here, that will be the Seven of Wands, uh, followed by... Uh, the Queen of Swords, so Seven of Swords, I'm sorry, followed by the Queen of Swords. Um, I do apologize, guys. It was a bit of a long day. Um, after that, uh, that will be the Tree of Swords. And the last one, that will be the Temperance. So unfortunately, that mainly uh, will translate into those who, are, who do have a job, okay? For those who are a uh, looking for a job the only thing that i can tell you it is that oh well, it's a bit it's a bit tough to explain but say that you are moving toward a competition and that competition is not a specific individual but it's just the pool of people right that are striving for the same kind of a place that you are striving for for same kind of a job and uh you may see that people that are trying to get the same kind of a job or doing something differently and you may feel compelled that you also have to do the same thing as they are doing different from you. You do not. Okay, you just stick to your standards here, stick to your ways and uh, eventually you're going to get a good job that is granted to you here by the last couple of cards. But the competition is very clever. It's very, uh, if you will, um, surreptitious. Some of that competition is also a bit nefarious as well. So if you do not get the job you want on the first or second try, just don't get yourself discouraged. Uh, that is because you pretty much did not need that or kind of like you did not want it. You may think you wanted it, but you, you don't trust me on this. Uh, looking at uh, looking at those cards because at the end the promise here from these it is that the job you will find it will uh, pay you reciprocally to your efforts but for those who are uh, finding themselves into career uh, right now oh my I mean you do have a lot to argue about with a, a specific individual now, needless to say, that is the Queen of Swords, uh, and and this person is not going to see the the um, the, uh, the things the way you do, guys, or we do as well. Uh, are they are they a way of seeing things the true way? Yes, but our way is the true way as well. So the the both ways we do see things, they they can be manifested and it all comes to that you know how well you can correspond together or rather like how well you can kind of like work under a, a symbiosis nonetheless uh, nonetheless i'm sorry whichever thing you do decide to go by with i mean you can pretty much succumb to that person and do the things their way or you can stand firm show strong backbone i don't know what to say here uh, a step for your own rights if you will and you do keep up with your way you also are going to see results now each one of you is going to have their fair share of supporters so you can't overpower the queen of swords type of individual from that point of view but that person also won't be able to overpower you either or neither here uh, and uh, it's it's kind of like going by your own by your own guts or by your own vision then you're going to pretty much how can i say I, I i split the career environment into two camps okay your camps your camp against their camp but ultimately at the end uh, I do believe that you are going to simply unite under the common sense and the common cause as well. So completely unnecessary argument and completely unnecessary, um, how can I say, split up, if you will, on a, a work power, workforce and as well will. It is what is going to happen for us throughout this week. So uh, that being said, don't get yourself into unnecessary conflicts, simply it won't matter at the end of the day okay um and now looking at those uh, looking at those cards i would know simply not to argue with uh 
with my manager. That that's all that it, it says to me. Okay. Because at the end of the day, it's gonna be their way, or our cumulative way. It's just we're gonna see the things the same way. At the end of the day, it's just we're not gonna see them the same way throughout this week. So that was about our career unfoldment. Now uh, let's have a look at what kind of things we can expect in, in terms of a relationship. So first one for our relationship cycle, that is going to be the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, moving next, we do have the Five of Cups followed by uh, the Six of Cups. And the last one, uh, that is going to be the Six of Pentacles. Uh, so just straight away off the top of my head here, looking at those cards, it's, uh, it's very possible that there will be a type of a forgiveness throughout this week for us or with uh, addressing our forgiveness to somebody else. Uh, is that going to lead to a reconciliation? It's very possible, but the condition here is that uh, the, uh, the breakup happened abruptly in a sense of that you do have the pl a plan with that guy or a girl, it doesn't really matter. And something happened in the midst of you know, something happened in the midst of it okay and that plan was uninitiated and now throughout this week uh it's a very big chance that you both are gonna see through the madness that it, it didn't have to end there okay and whatever happened it is just a temporary setback i mean if you are being disappointed that disappointment cannot be a prerequisite for you to break up if you have experienced any loss, uh, that loss also, it, it cannot be a prerequisite for you to, to break up as well because it's a temporary one. And uh, from there, you get to pretty much um, try anew if you want to. Uh, for ongoing relationships, um, this is where you or we are to, um, well, you guys, because I don't have a relationship right now. But in any case, I digress here. Um, you are pretty much where to uh, address those kind of aspects of that relationship, which are making you feel unhappy. Uh, it's not like making you feel angry. It's not like making you feel resentful or any of that. It's, it simply does make you feel unhappy. And uh, before that thing builds up because you know when things are making you un unhappy at the start of the, at certain points of the relationships uh, people tend to give it a silent treatment because they don't want to kind of like disrupt the normal flow so to speak in the relationship and that thing builds up builds up until it cannot be kept into a silent treatment anymore but by that time it's way too late to peacefully resolve it so here, for the sake of the longevity of your relationship, it is highly likely that uh, you and you or your partner, for that matter, to address exactly those pick-up points that may grow into a severe issues. Um, and it's going to happen in a very carefree manner, okay? It, will, it, it is not going to carry on any seriousness or any pressure whatsoever. And that, that is the best thing about it. And it will, uh, it will look like a, a game resolving that thing, like having a uh, enjoying your time while resolving resolving a, uh, a potential issues that may grow in between you and your partner. Now, those that are looking for a um, for a relationship with uh, those cards, I mean, and that includes me here. Well, uh, we have to take our butts off our couches and, and just, you know, do something about it in a sense of start start dating or um, in, invest ourselves into a dating apps and these kind of stuff. That is in case we do want a uh, we do want to get ourselves involved into relationship because what the potential of those cards is, is highly likely throughout this week to encounter 
encounter somebody, but we are to feel emotional and physical connection with them as well. And at the end, what happens here with as those cards divulge, it is that we are going to be too cough and carried on on a on a certain current. So pretty much we are going to set off some kind of a chain of events that are going to lead us to our destination. And after we set those chains of events, uh, we cannot change the destination at all. But definitely the destination we're going to end up at, it's much more generous than the place we are at right now. That is only if we do set off that chain of events, which I already mentioned how in the previous few sentences that refer to our a relationship reading. And the last thing I want to say here, it is that while we can forgive everything, we also need to feel good of forgiving it. That is a one and our number one mandatory condition in regards to the, to the manifestation of those cards. If we are forgiving it just to make the other person feel better, just so they know that we are forgiving them, but within our heart, we still hold grudge. And instead of feeling peaceful and in solace, we are a, a, a boiling cauldron of rage, a silent one, and there is no point for giving it at all, okay? So yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's our a relationship reading. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.